Hi, this is Farhan and welcome back to another video. Ripple versus the SEC. This is a case I'm pretty sure you guys are really interested in, especially if you have invested in XRP. A lot of XRP investors out there are heavily tied to this case because this is the reason why the price of XRP currently stands at what it is today and not at an all-time high. And it is not really exploding like how other cryptos, especially how other altcoins have been doing this crypto bull run. Now, during this entire Ripple lawsuit today, we have a major news and major information coming. And this is a key turning point in this Ripple lawsuit. And this is what we'll be looking at in today's video. But before doing that, let's look at what some XRP whales are doing recently. 745 million XRP, which is worth around $350 million, was transferred to an unknown address. Now, generally, you wouldn't really care about what's happening or what some whales are doing in the Ripple world. But one of the reasons why this is interesting or one of the reasons why people look at these major transfers is that sometimes these indicate a major price change. It's not just for XRP, but this is for the overall crypto world. Now, generally, sometimes these are indicated that the price of a certain crypto or in our case that it is about to go really high. For example, if a whale transfers uh, or takes out money from a crypto exchange and puts it into a cold storage, generally indicates that they're expecting that the price of that crypto to increase. Or if they're transferring from a wallet to a crypto exchange, it generally means that the, they are selling that, which makes the price of XRP or the crypto go down. But in this case, in the case of XRP, 745 million XRP were transferred to an unknown wallet. And since then, that uh, there's not been any more transactions related to to that wallet so i don't think this is any cause for any alarm out there and i think we are simply going to uh, see the price of xrp trade as a normally generally we are expecting that this might actually be one of ripple's own uh, addresses but so far it's not confirmed or we are thinking that it might be a crypto exchange that is just transferring from one wallet to another to understand why this is such a major turning point and a major turning point especially for the sec you have to realize that one of Ripple's defenses is that if the SEC believed Ripple was violating securities laws all along, as it claims Ripple should have known it was, the SEC should have given Ripple fair notice about the offense, not waited until eight years after they started operating. And it's a strong defense because fair notice is federally mandated. And the SEC knew about what Ripple was doing for many years while they operated in the light of the day. So, and the SEC has said this in the past, that they, are, they were planning to uh, strike a motion against this and they have done it. And to this, Ripple has responded uh, today. What Ripple has said is, lack of fair notice is a valid constitutional defense to a government enforcement action. It is rooted in the due process clause requirements that laws give the person of ordinary intelligence a reasonable opportunity to know what is prohibited. This defense prevents a government agency from penalizing someone for violating the agency's interpretation of the law when in fact there was no fair notice to the public of what the interpretation was. On, on March 9th, the SEC uh, sent this letter to the judge and in response for that we recently received yesterday and Ripple responded to that officially. Now what matters is what this judge is going to do. Is it going to remove this critical piece of evidence from the records or not? This is why it is such a critical point, uh, especially for the SEC. And if the SEC actually decides to remove this evidence, remove the fair notice um, information, I think it would be a huge blow to a Ripple. As I mentioned, the fair notice is a very strong argument that Ripple is presenting. And that is why the SEC is really afraid of this because as the, the whole mantra goes in uh, the legal terms, attack what you're most afraid of first. This is exactly what the SEC is doing because they want to remove uh, such a critical piece of information from their records. And as I mentioned, if this does happen and if the judge decides to go with it, I think it would be a huge blow to Ripple's case. But obviously Ripple is not really letting uh, go of this easily because Ripple says that hey look this is something that is legally binding and uh, they need to give a major reason or give they need to give a very critical reason on why this needs to be removed and the SEC is not really doing so 
As Ripple mentions in the letter, in his fourth affirmative defense, Ripple alleges it did not have a fair notice that its conduct in selling the virtual currency XRP violated the law or that the SEC interpreted the term investment contract to encompass Ripple's sales of XRP. Spe specifically, Ripple's answer to the first amend amended complaint alleges that prior to the SEC's filing of the complaint, countless market participants had for years transacted in XRP and so did full knowledge uh, by the SEC. What Ripple is saying that, hey, look, for eight years, you have known that XRP was being uh, traded and in over 200 exchanges. But for so many years, you did not do anything and you did not really give us any warning on this might actually be investment contract or this might actually be a security. So this is why SEC really wants to remove this very important piece of evidence. What is going to happen next? Now, in my personal opinion, and please do keep in mind that I'm no judge here, I think that the judge might actually uh, not go with the SEC here because this is such a meaningful uh, information, meaningful evidence, and it wants, and the judge probably wants it to be on the table and wants to listen to both sides. But please do keep in mind that this is my own personal opinion. And also this opinion is resonated in the entire XRP and Ripple world. What's going to happen in the coming weeks and in the coming uh, months is we are going to see some major and very critical information regarding this uh, Ripple uh, lawsuit. And this, the information that we have today, and if this is one of those critical uh, pieces that actually can make a Ripple win this uh, lawsuit. But again, this is a bit far-fetched and only time can tell what's exactly going to happen next. Well, guys, this was a quick and short video for today. Let me know what are your thoughts in the comment section below. I do love reading all your comments. And in my upcoming video, it will finally be the part two of that XRP price prediction after this uh, Ripple lawsuit. So make sure you're uh, subscribed for that and make sure you give this video a like so the YouTube algorithm will recommend you my upcoming videos and as always I will see you next time